ലേഡീസ് ആൻഡ് ജെന്റൽമെൻ മച്ചന്മാരെ മച്ചികളെ നമസ്കാരം ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ ഡിഫിക്കോറസ് പോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് അല്ലെ ഞങ്ങൾ വന്നിട്ട് കുറച്ച് നാളായി ഞങ്ങൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ പോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് വന്നപ്പോഴും ഞങ്ങള് കുറച്ച് ഫോമലായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങള് ഇങ്ങനോ ഏ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലൊക്കെയാണ് സംസാരിച്ചത് ഞങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോഴും അനാത്തയില് മാറ്റൊന്നുമില്ല ബട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ കുറച്ചൊന്ന് വെറൈറ്റി ട്രൈ ചെയ്യാന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചു ഏ അപ്പം ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഇത് ആദ്യമായിട്ട് കാണുവാണെങ്കിൽ ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ ഡിയർ അരുൺ മച്ചാൻ ഡോക്ടർ അരുൺ നായർ ഞങ്ങൾ ബോത്ത് വി ബോത്ത് ആർ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ഫ്രോം ആർ ദ സെബ് ബഹ്റൈൻ and uh, machan has done an uh, year of internship at king hamad university hospital and now machan is uh, getting set to go to the us soon with like interviews and stuff and uh, myself nana uh, my name is dr keith papachin matthew alle varnam parayo oh sir nammal thalle nammala ee idinathu parayana pole idinathu ee have you watched christian brothers pinne thande അല്ല ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ ബ്രദേഴ്സിനകത്ത് മറ്റേ ഇത് പറയില്ലേ ഈ മറ്റേ പുള്ളി പറയും യു ആർ മൈ ബോസ് ആ ഒരു ലൈൻ ആണ് ബോസ് അല്ല യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് അപ്പൊ എനിവേസ് അപ്പൊ ഐ ഐ കൗണ്ട്ലി ഇൻ എ പ്ലേസ് കോൾ ഡാർലിംഗ്ടൺ ഇൻ കൗണ്ട്രി ഡോറും ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ യു ആർ വൺ ഡോക്ടർ ഇൻ എൻ എച്ച് എസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ വി ഹാവ് കം വിത്ത് വിഗന talk about a topic that's very common in our society but also there are a lot of dimensions to it alle in alland would you like to say what the topic is macha absolutely so today's topic it's a topic that i know for a fact each and every one of you listening have heard of have seen and know someone who has it any guesses of course you can guess this is a pre-recorded podcast today's topic is diabetes and you may be thinking there is a lot of videos on diabetes out there what is diabetes how it's managed what are the drugs all this kind of stuff but today we're going to take an interesting take on diabetes okay. we're going to take a look at what does the common man understand about diabetes and what does the common man think about diabetes because at the end of the day we want to make sure people are on the right path when they consider diabetes because there's so many articles out there so many different types of management strategies there's so many different types of you know uh if you eat this six times a day your diabetes will go away you know that sort of thing but we want to make sure we provide the right information and make okay. sure that people are on the right path to managing the diabetes properly and most importantly living a long happy and healthy life right spot on spot on from although like I don't much and I already said there are a lot of there may be a lot of videos online just for for organization purpose we'll just start with what diabetes is to see if it correlates to what you think diabetes would be Now, if i were to start it off diabetes is not one condition there are different types of diabetes first of all and what it truly is is the kind of balance of sugar in your blood now everybody has a level of sugar in the blood and that's contributed to by uh, you know what we call carbohydrates and other kind of things so you need you basically need glucose for the body and at the end of it the cells that make up different organs and tissues in the body to function but there's always an equilibrium to it and that is maintained by a vital organ called the pancreas so it it releases something called insulin so this is the hormone that it releases and it kind of controls the blood sugar in your body now uh, for example if you're having let's say a jalebi the jalebi ga you are angular now that can increase the uh, sugar in your body but in in a healthy person adequate insulin would be released in order to compensate for it you know uh, so each and every meal that you take when there's a sugar jump in your body that does it but in the case of diabetes like i said for type 1 and type 2 on so type 1 would be more along um with a with a uh, from a very old from, from a very young age with a childhood age uh, you might find out that the pancreas in essence has got a defect in the sense adana there's there are some things that doesn't let it produce enough insulin on the right type of insulin to kind of control these things so then if you go along that route 
that leads to, you know, you need to providing insulin so that there's adequate control. So that's one type. There are many, many types of common types of diarrhea. Do you, uh, you want to add anything to that, Macha? I don't know. I'll just explanation, Barnell. It's not an explanation. Anna. Okay. If I want to continue, I want to let my son drop it. If I want to type 2 would be ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മുടെ നമ്മളുടെ സൊസൈറ്റി ഫെമിലിയർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ടൈപ്പ് ടു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാല് ടൈപ്പ് ടു ഡയബറ്റീസ് ഇസ് യൂഷ്വലി ടൈപ്പ് ടു സോ വട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇസ് ഇപ്പം ആസ് യു ഗോ അലോങ് സെർട്ടൺ ഒരു ആസ് യു കെറബ് ഓൾഡ് ഈ മെറ്റാബലിസം ഡിക്രീസസ് ഓ യു നോ നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ പാൻക്രിയസ് ഇൻസുലിൻ മറ്റേ ഇൻസുലിൻ റിലീസ് ചെയ്യുമല്ലോ അപ്പം ഇറ്റ് റീച്ചസ് എ പോയിന്റ് വെയർ ഡ്യൂ ടു സെർട്ടൺ റീസൺസ് ദാറ്റ് മെയ് നോട്ട് ബി ഇനഫ് now what when is that not enough that is not enough when there is a lot of sugar in your body when insulin is insufficient or you have some kind of factor in between that makes the insulin ineffective but if you have if you are on the heavier side and you have a lot of fat deposit or adipose tissue that leads to a situation called insulin resistance where the insulin that's produced it isn't affecting the body in the right manner eating to sugar levels higher than normal and then that's that's what leads to type 2 diabetes and then that particular fact where you have high sugar in your body affects a lot of other systems now it can affect systems on a smaller scale there are microvascular effects and there are macrovascular effects so it can affect the big vessels of the body leading to you know it can contribute to clogging of big vessels that supply big organs അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെയാണ് ചിലപ്പം ഇറ്റ് ടു കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ടു കോർണറി ഹാർട്ട് ഡിസീസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഹാർട്ട് വെസൽ ഡിസീസ് ഓക്കെ ഓർ കുഡ് ലീഡ് ടു മൈക്രോവാസ്കുലർ ചേഞ്ചസ് വിച്ച് ആർ ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു വെസൽസ് സോ ദർ ആർ സ്മോൾ വെസൽസ് ദറ്റ് സപ്ലൈ ദ ഐ ദറ്റ് സപ്ലൈ യുവർ യു നോ യുവർ സെൻസേഷൻ യുവർ നർവ് ആൻഡ് സപ്ലൈ യുവർ കിഡ്നി സോ ഓവർ എ കോഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ടൈം ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ലീഡ് ടു എഫെക്ട്സ് വിച്ച് വിൽ എഗെയിൻ അത് ഒരു സൈക്കിളായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ പോകും സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ എഫെക്ട് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദൻ it will lead to other things it will be a part of a bigger problem so that's my way of understanding it's a very uh, uh, easy way of saying it but it's just for that i'm not sure you tell me something uh, uh, see viewers now you got a treat you got you got two things in that explanation you got a beautiful quick summary of what diabetes is and you guys got to look at our telewind guns kanchi ya kadakadak nokkiyittayirunnu ingane enna okay ഡയബറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ്ബാറ്റീസ
what we call pre-diabetic, uh, for a very long time. So what people think is, if you're pre-diabetic, you're not diabetic, so it's all right. You know, and she's been on that spectrum for, I would say, 10 years or so. And now that she's on it, her GP told her to start her on a drug called metformin. And that's usually one of the most common uh, drugs that you take. It's an oral hypoglycemic. Oral hypoglycemic means decreases the sugar. Now, um, so up until she starts the drug, she's very careful. She, because she was pre-diabetic, she's quite careful with what she ate. Because she'd be like, she would try to avoid sweets when she can, and when she when she was able to, maybe you know control starchy stuff like sugar, chapatis, whatever. But then, after she started the drug, and then she had a checkup after, uh, and then she's like, oh, you know, like uh, like my like my blood sugar is good now. It's like it's under control. I'm like, I mean, that's what the drug is supposed to do, and then. I kind of understand that she's a little bit lenient with her diet because she's like, yeah. regardless of what, her blood sugar is under control. So she is a, you know, she still has sweets, which she didn't have before. She's a little bit lenient on the rice, but that still comes back exactly to the point you were making where adequate blood sugar control is just a product of two factors. The main factor would be your diet where you should be very careful with your sweet intake. Now, your sweet intake is not just jalebis and laddus. Now, it can be anything. It could be from even, you know, the drinks that you would take. Now, I'd like to bring a, a very, uh, you know, open your eye into the drink bit. Now, we think like, let's say, co uh, co like uh, Coke. Coke has got sugar, okay? അങ്ങനെ it's essentially artificial sweetness like aspartame and so on which basically your body breaks it down the very same way and it pops your sugar back up so it doesn't really matter and me personally when i try to get a bit more diet centric i have diet coke thinking that it's okay but it's just a it's just a fallacy you know it doesn't matter like you need to be very careful and then anything you eat now for example even if it's anything starchy like bread Now, bread could be, some people say, uh, white bread, brown bread is better than white bread because it's more healthier, it's got more bran, it's got more other... Now, I do agree, it, it like improves the fiber, and which is good because when it's brown, it's got bran, which improves the fiber. Then there's multigrain bread, which improves fiber. But if you eat that with, outside a certain limit, like you have an entire loaf of brown bread, it doesn't matter. It's not... it doesn't uh, you know control your sugar in, in like any way shape or form you have brown rice versus the normal rice but you are like polished rice it's got good fiber but it does not mean that your sugar is going to be under control you still have to have it in moderation now i'd like to don't take me in the wrong sense saying that i know there are a lot of diets that say uh, you know to have these things which is good because they are long acting sugars so they mm -hmm. even if they when they give you so you need See, you need carbohydrates for energy in your body and i totally agree with that now another source of energy is fat so if one carbohydrate has got 4 joules of calories one gram of fat has got 9 joules of calories so i'm going to uh, you know it's it's a it's a entire cycle thing if i don't any ketogenic diet diet became something that's very much fond of because what you're doing there is you're starving your body of energy by not having carbohydrates in your body and you're giving your body fatty stuff like you know uh, but like chicken coated in butter and uh, you know and basically just making your body make ketones for the energy that's what a ketogenic diet is mm. now a different opinions are uh, and i i know a lot of people have lost oodles of weight and fat from the ketogenic diet but i personally think every you have so it's you it's good intermittent fasting 
intermittent fasting ah so let me let me get there apam e ketogenic diet is something uh, i don't know how to really say it it works if it works so basically like, yeah to, to keep it simple a ketogenic diet here are the pros of a ketogenic diet when you're going on a ketogenic diet meaning that you are completely cutting off carbohydrates there is not a single type of carbohydrate in your diet so what you're going to do is that you are going to get your body to take out the remaining carbohydrates use them for energy and once those carbohydrates are gone you're not putting in any more carbohydrates so the fat around your body is being used for energy and that's how fat you know fat goes away and weight loss happens but let me tell you this i tried this and within the first 2 days metaphorically i wanted to kill someone that's how bad it was it drove me especially if you're working if you can do it hats off to you that's amazing personally for me i'm going to tell you that experience was horrible but what worked for me may not work for someone else and what didn't work for me, didn't work for me may work for someone else but i'll tell you this uh, it's january 2022 now i started my weight loss goals own idea of weight loss january 2021 there have been ups and downs in one year i lost 16 kg it may not sound like a lot but for me weight loss was something very difficult for me so alongside having a routine of exercise every day controlling my diet i mean you're sitting you're studying 12 14 hours a day of course you're going to be thinking man if i could just have a snack you know just to keep myself studying it's it's a normal human thought right but i realized the snacks were my problem but my portion size and i really want to reiterate what machan said earlier your portion size matters a lot so have three meals a day have two meals a day but look at the amount you're eating i mean for all you malayalis out there vittla nalla choram chemming kariya alla beef and you look at it and everything of course you're going to have a little bit more than usual eh? we've all done that and that's absolutely fine once in a while that's fine and all the every day the gym ball honestly that's when we get our bellies popping up i mean i haven't i haven't seen any of these muscles <laughs> in 2 years when i saw them finally i was like ah wonderful look at that so see trust me weight loss it's a trial and error process there's not one way that's going to work for everyone otherwise everyone would be walking around like supermodels here no no portion size yeah. calorie counting throw in intermittent fasting and go on a walk half an hour to an hour a day just watch for 6 months you're going to see a difference right apo uh i'll i'll just share my uh, kind of weight loss thing i know it's not directly related to to diabetes but since we have the topic of weight loss it's a very funny mm-hmm. one so i've been around the 90 kg 95 kg thing for all my life in the sense when you are in fifth grade you always get two or three sizes more than usual because when your peers were something for a five year old was from for five and remember you are uh fifth grade you are 10 years but 10 years then i always 16 at under now so i can so i've been an obese kid all my thing and when i reached a point in in high school as when you have those mental changes as well you want to make a change right so that's when i how i started it off was uh, so my, my diet usually is like classic indian diet so ravale i mean you have i mean i live in qatar so uh, our your breakfast is somewhat like what the international breakfast would look like but then your lunch when you come back home is that classic chore more and all these items and uh-huh. you're coming back so when you're coming back after after school and then you have you've had a stressful day and then you just want to and the biggest issue is you have a tv in front of you so you don't know how much you eat just eat till your heart is content okay just keep it chunde po kai chunde irikum and the ratri it's usually chapati or whatever but again you just and i i mean we we are doctors at the end of the day and we didn't get there just like that life has been hard we obviously worked our way through high school Ooh. and stuff so oh my god don't even get me yeah, started yeah apa avare idilla we had to really study and really work hard it doesn't come easy obviously apa avare idilla i used to like finish everything i had to and used to eat at like 12 1 at night i mean i mean that's basically early morning so mm. another topic is timing when you eat food is very important apa i used to eat food very late then 
all of a sudden one day i was like i looked at the mirror and i got really disgusted by myself but again you should never uh, so the next thing is you shouldn't your your looks shouldn't matter that shouldn't get into your head because you are unique you are yourself <laughs> you shouldn't but that got into me and i was like damn i need to make a change look and then i see- even if even if mamudi mohanlal and even if these guys looking the way they are can still be the top stars we all are top stars they don't have six packs they don't have big guns exactly. they're still top stars so, so that's my point like i am a hardcore laleton fan besides the acting one thing that always kept me is fan was i i can't tell you that again so one, uh, one thing that really got me hooked on him is like i see this 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 man he's my he's my role model and i'm like the looks don't matter to him like mm-hmm. he, he even if he breaks his hand and then he has like a, like 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 he has a cast that's still style for me i would break my hand and put a cast and that kind of <laughs> i'm that kind of fan you know what i mean so for me like i was always more close to mohanlal because he was always a chubby guy and i was like that's okay everybody likes mohanlal he's chubby so why not confidence. but again confidence Be confident yeah. confidence confidence in what your skill is he's an actor so mm. his confidence in the acting he's not a six body six pack guy in bollywood where you need to show off your body to get roles <laughs> he's an actor okay so that's an other thing anyways i want to i'll go off there I, i i like how we went from talking about diabetes to diet <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> positive body image to mohanlal <laughs> <laughs> amazing so this is what ridiculous podcast is we don't follow a track okay now if you want more of these crazy, crazy conversations just at a side layer button and then just say hit the subscribe here Not, I side a notification link on the other one click here i can guarantee you in the conversation we will have so many crazy conversations so many crazy people coming into us we we'll have a cool chat okay but other part other promotion and that who knows chalpa nammada sundar lalaitan vere vandu nu paravam bettilla lalaitan na keri verum okay paravam bettilla paravam bettilla yeah appo anyways yana avada potta appo yana appo how i started was near apple kondu poi i really mm-hmm. took an apple what i had for lunch was like salad with satta chi ratri motta orange juice three months time in all from 94 kg i came to 70 but and i use what i used to do for exercises ravle e elliptical machine le le elliptical machine a cycle machine you used to do like weight till it's 80 calories time on nokila literally that and i used to play badminton moonu varyangal cheyidu i lost that everybody yana like in, uh, let me see if i can see before and after photos it was mind blowing and then that gave me the kick by the way pashe it is never sustainable because if you, i used heard my diet my diet wasn't sustainable i couldn't keep it because we still had mm. the same diet at home with the chore and more and whatever so ah. then i thought my next way of thinking about it was let me bulk up because i have all this food at home and i uh, we are of the perception that uh, the opposite sex like mm, people who are a bit more you know like you know look more bit more muscular so it's like why it's what's the point in being skinny let's bulk up so i changed my diet i went started going to the gym regularly mm. i'll put in a this will be my promotion then i will not put a photo of that <laughs> but i started gaining a little bit of muscle and then i lost my gym routine completely <laughs> oh, I lost my gym routine completely by the way mm-hmm. but when I lost my gym routine my food habits didn't change mm-hmm. and I'll tell you from that weight I was always hovering around 80 to 85 in med school like Ar- Arun knows me like he knows how I look and how I used to look for a very long time occasionally he exam time I'll go up to 90, 93 but in the body I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't know I um, don't we, mean we would ah we would never know because between me uh, Dr Keith and Dr Sarath he nobody sundar kutna idli we would never notice oh no no and then angane vanna vekku varunu pashe eniki always like uh, another thing is ee nammal korche ee vanna vekku body type aavumbo it slightly more easier to bulk so nammal proper right gym poyala you will actually see changes like if i hit the gym with my uh with a kind of decent this thing i'll easily bulk up better the bulk up even whether it's biceps uh, triceps whatever it'll get bigger very quickly mm-hmm. but 
അത് നിർത്തി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അപ്പം തന്നെ ഐ ലുക്ക് ഫാറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ഗെയിൻ ദ ഫാറ്റ് സോ മൈ അനദർ തിങ് ഐ റിയലൈസ് വാസ് ഈ ഇതില്ലേ യുവർ ഫാറ്റ് സെൽസ് സോ ഈവൻ യുവർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ നൗ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ലിസ്ണിങ് ടു മീ when you have kids just make sure you have a good uh, kind of diet and lifestyle at home and get the Let me show speaking yeah. of healthy diet so this is a picture from a recent meal prep that i was doing you can see all the ingredients except the rice is over there yeah right so you can see these are mushrooms and spring onions cut up keeping keeping it simple right we had a little bit of chicken there red right, chicken right and we had a tin of chickpeas over there so it's getting my carbs fats proteins all in balance with just a little bit of rice all just mixed up in a pan with a little bit of butter so i'm using butter instead of oil gives a nice taste nice to cook with you know it's very flavorful and juicy put that in with a little bit of rice in that entire container that i that i eat easily just about 350 or 400 calories maximum exactly exactly pin point but but that's very important because i'll get to that in a in like uh, hopefully in the next take it take it yeah aba yaar adutta aba yaar storytelling mode la poi aba ingena vanna pinne oru oru point itti when i was in third year of med school i was like you think like aba yani eniki odunna rasu undu it's a, it's like something that i can do and even macha knows me he ravile he used to see me when we go to rotations he's like hey bro i swear to god ha ravile neete i'd be i'd be standing outside of window and in the hospital le pona then i would see dr matthew is running yeah yeah so that's the thing adu enikku bhangara addiction a like you running once you start it again and i i can't stop it even if the world goes upside down that's why covid time was especially the initial few weeks is very hard for me because i can't sit at home and do stuff it's very hard for me i need to run from anyways upon my third year i got some key classes undarnu like uh, fitness classes so i uh, with the coach in mr kazafi nangada idella undarnu so i went with classes for uh, with that and then angane on the trip i pass away i don't know if you remember i got a little bit of a new exercise so it's okay bro i'm in a bad mood kalikumbo odi pichu odi pichu i would start to lose weight because of him Yeah that's how fit yeah, that's how fit that. he was and yeah. I still remember yeah. playing against you was the best Alla that is because I do yani ipo kalachalum yani but 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 anyways but I'm going to poi appo pinne the next my my next I, so I always yo yo ingane ingane poi kondirik because enda ee diet is regardless of how much you want to control when you have other life events happening it's really hard because you you food becomes an outlet to relieve stress so you are like what what's the point you work so hard for yourself you want to get give it a little bit of treat but i'm saying you should use your workout or you should use your kind of the feeling that you have from having a good lifestyle or body type or whatever to gratify that feeling instead of using food as a way of making you feel happy that is the channel you should go to in the last lastly covid time lana everybody is sitting at home and then in my mind it's like i need to do something different and i have lots of time on my hands luckily in the building there is a gym and there no and nobody used to go there i don't know if it is legal or not i please nobody catch me after this podcast but <laughs> yes, i don't 